Good day, everybody, brothers and sisters, fellow devotees and children of our Blessed Mother. I hope you understand itong ating pagsasama-sama through the internet, through uh, media, ay hindi ito lamang nagmi-meeting tayo, nag-explain tayo, nagbibigay ng conference. No? no, we are praying because we are the Blessed Mother. And if you, if you understand the Blessed Mother, she is the great prayer. The, the one who prays intensely. Why? Ang, ang prayer talaga is union with God. Faith in God who is always loving us. And that is what we are trying to do with the help of our Blessed Mother. So at this point, uh, thank you for those who have been following our series. And uh, I may I invite you again to prayer with our Blessed Mother, to her, and to our God. Let us recognize the presence of the Lord the presence of the whole church for which uh, we are uh, dedicated, the presence also of our brothers and sisters who would like to know more and become more involved with our Blessed Mother. Almighty Father, thank you for gathering us, uniting our hearts, making us all experience the love, your love and the love of our Blessed Mother manifested in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Help us to have the heart of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Mother so that our whole being will be focused on you and we will understand indeed the infinite love you have for each one of us and for all of us. Grant that in listening, not only to the words silently spoken, but to the life of the Blessed Mother, we will be transformed into her son Jesus, become truly her sons and daughters, and therefore also your sons and daughters. Send us your spirit so that we will always be enlightened, not only in mind, but may our hearts burn with love for you and may we be completely open to your inspiration. We ask this all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are here together with Sister Dayai and uh, Brother Charlie. May we be more united to Jesus, transformed into Him, and become pleasing to the Father and filled with the Holy Spirit. So last time we have been uh, praying about the different apparitions of the Blessed Mother in different places. And uh, lately we have been discussing what happened in Lipa. And uh, I think that is worth uh, reflecting because it has something to do not only with our relationship with our Blessed Mother but what God and the Blessed Mother expects of all of us especially Filipinos in this time of the history of the church so Charlie and uh, Ate Dayay welcome to this Marian prayer and uh, I think you will help us deepen our union with her Arka, thank you very much for giving us this uh, rare opportunity um, I have several questions with me. I think I have, we have to go straight with the discussion. No? Um, first, and uh, I think this is one of the things that most people is uh, asking, and we don't even have the, re the answer up to this moment in time. Uh, remembering the Commission on Records and Documentation, you call it CORD, no? which we believe I, the, ito yung uh, more complete documentation that we have with regards to the Lipa apparition. You know. uh, the group headed by you, I believe, or and several priests and nuns that uh, took their time and effort to have this one compiled. You know. uh, did you find anything conclusive? What or I would rephrase it. What is your conclusion and findings that f make you uh, issue the declaration of September 12, 2015? Alam mo, yung cord which is said that ako talaga, I be, I, I'm behind that all the time, no? And everything that, that happened since I became Archbishop of Lipa, no? Pero I gathered this group Anandyan si Father Richard Hernandez, yeah. si Mother Julie Mikosa, meron mga psychologists dyan, may, 
may mga iba't ibang kwan. Field, different field. Priests at saka lay people, at saka religious. At saka marami silang sources. Ang first ID panahon pa nung kwan, nung 1950s, na ended up in a rather, rather uh, parang unfortunate uh, conclusion na may, that's what I felt, no, when I look over the history na maraming mga parang hindi magandang nangyari. Mga, kasi ibang conclusion dun sa findings, no, lumalabas, no, parang maraming questions, no. That was the first, no, pinigil yun. Nagkaroon ng final decision noong 1951, no. Ang second ay panahon ni Archbishop Gabiola. I think it was headed by uh, Bishop, the Auxiliary Bishop Kison, and ang lay counterpart ay si former Justice uh, Harriet, Dimitri. Harriet Dimitrio. They have a very rich uh, compilation. compilation. No? So yung ginawa ni na Father Richard, Sister Julie, and company, which I I looked through, no? marami yan. Yun, it's a big volume. Uh, ay yung big what volume. remains of the first, the 50s, no? findings, because pinasira yung lahat ng records nung at that time, eh, sabi. Pero hindi naman lahat nasira. Ang nasira lang, sinunog ay nasa Kaki. mga madre. Apo. Pero meron yung hawak ng mga lay people, and then yung memories ng mga bishops involved. Katulad ng mga hindi nga sila ang commission, pero sila ang pumirma. No? Yan ang mga questionable things. Then, yung, yung, yung kay Bishop Gabriel, very extensive din nagawa nila. Marami. Then, yung mga, ang mga recent happenings naman, hindi eh, yun ang idagdag ni ng uh, court na, that I started. No? Which, uh, the pronouncement of uh, December 11, 2015 from uh, Rome, They call it Protocol 2006, right? 1949. 2016, yata na. 1949, yeah. Well, yun ay, yung sinabi nila that I should abrogate, I should disband the commission. By that time, not disband, kasi kompleto na eh. Yes, sir. Kompleto na eh. The purpose. So, tapos na yun. Kaya yung I was asked to write na din disband ko, tsaka that I acknowledge na mali ako, ay di sinabi ko, that, that does not exist anymore. Ang mga records nandyan, complete. It cannot be disbanded because it's already there a public. Oo, uh, 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 nakaka, nakapagod okay. na uh, Let me continue that one. You are talking about the, you said, uh, final decree, uh, declaration of 1951. Was that the, the signed the, uh, uh, Decree or I don't know what the... Yan ang pinaka-conclusion supposedly ng investigation ng 1950s. No? Yung document, April 11, 1951, signed by six, one archbishop okay. and five auxiliary bishops yata lahat sila, no? which became bishops later. No? Pagkatapos, uh, yung April 12, 1951 was a accompanying document one day after coming from the same source and nag-sign lang ay the, at that time Bishop Rufino Santos na administrator of LIPA. That time. Yeah. At that, that time. time. So there, there was no pay, finality, a so-called finality during that time? Or you can consider well, that one as a final? Para sa kanila, they stop everything. At least your second document Sinabi din, to burn everything, to stop the devotion. Pero, ironically, dun sa document of 2015, December 11, ay kwan yung, yung, yung sinabi dun na hindi kanila, hindi galing sa Roma, yung April 12, 1950 document. Pero dun sa, yung ginawa ni Cardinal Santos to ban everything, remove yung Blessed Mothers, sabi, destroy eh. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. that is making definitive yung decision okay. about 1948 incident noong 1951. Pero on April 11, April 12 document, sinabi din doon ni, ni yeah. Cardinal. Cardinal Santos Yon. until... So, that is that, where, that is, that is where si Archbishop Gabiola at saka ako, 
made our stand. We want Rome to say definitively mm, yes. what they really mean. Kasi nagsulat nga dun sa April 12 document, until such time that the Holy See will say something. That means the Holy See has not said something. Yes. That is the reason probably kung bakit dinidinay nila that, December, that April 12 document is from them. Kasi contrary yun sa kanilang uh, sinasabi. The, what, they, what they're saying. Uh. Ay, ang problema, the same document came from the same source. Even if a signatory, uh, uh, inamin din yan. Dun sa, dun sa, sa December 11, 2015 document yeah. that they used the bishops to sign so that they will avoid yung negative or violent reaction from, from the, the local, local people. So that means yung 12 bishops who said after serious uh, consideration. consideration we have come to the court. They were not the ones who made that serious consideration if there ever was. No? They were not the ones. So at this inamin nila that, that added to the question rather than uh, determining the answer. That added to that question na parang something is fishy, may itinatago. That is why yung, yung may stand is even more clear na hindi pa definitive yung 1951 document. Did you find it uh, strange? I would say strange. Having a, having a conclusion or a decree or this this uh, non, for me, it's there's no finality on the twenty on the 1951. 51, no? Did you find it strange that you have the declaration three years after the apparition? Yes. No. Parang, um, parang, parang it's so fast oh. that even the dapat yata po, it's the local bishop should declare the if it is true or not Apo. and then while the investigation is still ongoing i i mean for other Apo. operation po and what happened was ni remove sa office si bishop versosa and, and uh, auxiliary of bishop of yar and then six bishops from different places together true. with ano uh, with the new apostolic administrator Ano, sign the, the negative verdict. Ang, uh, your question is, uh, did I find it uh, strange? Strange. First of all, I should say no and yes. No? no, because I did not know these things were happening long before I did not know what to okay. say. First of all, I was still young. When the apparitions took place, okay. I was only four years old. Yun nga sabi ko, I'm very happy na and birthday ko, November, November, November that is the last apparition, yeah. when she said, I am the mediatrix of all grace. And you know, I was, I'm very happy with uh, Justice uh, Harriet. Harriet lately, na yung kanyang sinulat, beautiful, no? Talagang, hindi, ang, ang lipa is a revelation of mediatrix of all grace, hindi, of all graces. Mm -hmm. And that, that is a very good explanation. All grace is the right one. No? Although all graces is not completely wrong, but we must understand that all grace is Christ. No? Anyway, I did not know anything about this before I became Archbishop. Siguro nung malapit na wing Archbishop, I read the book of June Kitley. I did, I did not know I would become Archbishop of Lipa. I did read it as any other book. And I'm very happy. Uh, actually, I, be I believe that something is present. The, the blessed man is present in Lipa. But I did not know much about the, the apparitions. And I did not care. Uh, that was not my concern. Now, I said yes. I find it intriguing. When I came to here, Nanang, when I started to be involved with the case when I became Archbishop especially. Because, uh, because something is wrong. Why will... Uh, and and uh, my first feeling is that just because I'm brown and I'm Filipino and I'm only 500 years a Catholic nation, I have been to France. I have been to Lourdes several times. I have been to, to Fatima. I have been to Guadalupe. So I said, why? Katoliko din mo ng Pilipinas, eh bakit tayo walang gayon? Yes. Kaya minsan, 